So what you're hearing right now is actually the Comica VM30. It's around 180 something dollars on Amazon. It will be linked in the description below, but I think this is going to be the number one microphone for people who are looking to hook up a microphone to their camera that they just got, or maybe their actual phone or something. Maybe they wanna be able to take the microphone off the boom arm and do some kind of uh, interview like a TikTok or YouTube short or something like that, like people like to do to walk around and, you know, have people talking to the mic. Now, this again is around 180 something dollars. This is without any EQs or anything like that. Uh, the microphone is set to 10 on this 10 on, as far as the stepless gain. And then the receiver is set to plus 6 dB, which is his default state uh, straight out the box. Now, this is what it sounds like with EQ. Now, this is roughly an eq that i'm kind of happy with or wherever it's similar to the ones that i normally use for i would say my norming normal talking head videos i normally use the uh, cinco mic d1 that i recently picked up that we'll do a comparison to that's the microphone right there um but i think overall for this package the only complaint that i can literally see is the fact of um the price it's 180 something dollars i think at this price point it should be uh, around 150 between 120 150 i think it's a good asking price for something like this the cinco mic d2 which is 199 dollars which is similar to the other microphone which i got the cinco mic d1 for around 160 something dollars on amazon um so again we're going to compare these microphones today and see why I still recommend this over the Cinco Mic D1. Let's get into it. All right, so for microphone comparison, this is the Cinco Mic D1 with no EQ, and this is the noise floor. And this is the way it sounds with me talking to it again with no EQ. This is just, you know, raw audio plugged into the interface with phantom power from uh, Fine Fine and just plugged into my PC recording into OBS. Again, no filters at all. All right, so this is the way it sounds with the Cinco Mic D1 with some EQ presets. It's the microphone right here. Uh, this is the way it sounds, again, with some EQing being done or wherever. Um, roughly, I would say about this far away from my mouth. Um, and this is where I typically have it just a little bit higher, obviously, out of frame or wherever um, for recording a video in the studio. All right, so this is the Comica VM30, roughly around the same distance from my mouth with no EQ. This is the way it sounds in the studio. There's your noise floor right there. And again, this is how it sounds with no EQ. All right, so this is the little EQ that I was able to come up with for this microphone, again, from the same, uh, roughly around the same distance um, from my mouth. And this is how it sounds with the EQ uh, presets that I have uploaded into the Wavelink software. This is running straight from the camera into the cam link from Elgato. And then, like I said, dragged into the Wavelink software. This is how it sounds with the EQs that I have come up with it uh, for this microphone so essentially the reason why i still recommend the comica microphone over something like this which is the cinco mic d1 is because with the cinco mic d1 you need something that's going to be uh i would say a preamp or whatever you want to call it where you're going to plug it into your camera this is the irig pre 2 but you need batteries for to supply phantom power which it needs or you need to put batteries in the shotgun microphone um, which you can do with the Cinco Mic D1, but the Mic D2, you don't really need that. But some of the shotgun microphones out there, you're going to need to, you know, supply some kind of phantom power or something along those lines to where you're going to need a, like I said, a preamp or something like an audio interface like this from Fine Fine or wherever, but you still need to add EQs and stuff like that. So you're going to need like a PC or something anyways, whereas this you can plug straight into your camera have something called the cam link or wherever from Elgato or something along those lines and then have it plugged into your PC, you know, with that HDMI to USB. And if you have software, like I would say Elgato Wavelink, 
you can have the same presets that you use for your editing software uh, for your microphone or wherever and record all that stuff live like I do now, which is actually, like I said, hooked up to my um, OBS. And this is what it looks like. This is the overview. This is me at my YouTube studio uh, set up or wherever. And I record it straight into OBS. My videos are color graded. They're already EQ'd and everything. So I never have to worry about doing extra steps where for editing. The thing about it is, is that the fact with the Comica microphone is that those EQs, the, you might have to do some slight variations, but essentially you can use the same EQ presets by using wireless. Like I said, you can take this microphone, do interviews with it or walking around or wherever town, uh, vlogging, having it plugged up straight to your camera, or wherever. And roughly, like I said, you might have to do some certain, certain tweaks or wherever to the EQ but essentially the microphone itself is the same microphone. Whereas if you're switching between microphones, they might sound similar, but you have to uh, do adjustments and you have to change EQs, just like I had to do from switching from the Cinco microphone to the Comica microphone uh, just now. I had to slightly change some EQs or whatever to get them roughly to sound the same. Whereas if I use this microphone, the Comica or wherever in the studio and I take it outside, uh, granted, like I said, there might be some very little variations that I might have to change with, but for the most part, I'm not going to really have to do too, too much. And that's the thing. I can sit there and have this wirelessly used on my phone um, or hooked up to my phone. I can have it hooked up to my uh, actual camera or wherever wirelessly uh, through a boom pole or just, just out of frame. And I can sit down on a park bench or something like that do a nice professional you know shot and not have to have a lavalier system like hooked up or wherever and wired up and close ruffling the microphone or anything like that or have one of those square uh transmitters or wherever just shown or wherever looking unprofessional um i could have microphone just overhead at a shot on a you know cheap bo uh mic boom arm or wherever uh that's you know attached to my camera bag while i'm out maybe it's small and compact and i could do it that way and then if I need to vlog or wherever, I can just have it attached, you know, to the hot shoe uh, or cold shoe, wherever of my camera with this and just vlog. And it's just so, so many different capabilities. And so it's so versatile at 180 something dollars. It's a hard asking price. It really is. Like I said, you have the capabilities of having something like the uh, Cinco Mic D1. But like I said, you're going to need something. You're going to need the preamps. You're going to need batteries to, to plug into your camera and everything. And you got to make sure it supplies phantom power. You got to make sure the preamps are good or wherever enough to be able to do that. And the audio interfaces, depending on what you're using. And then on top of that, you're already going to have to um, be tied down to your YouTube studio or wherever or your desk. Whereas, like I said, I can just pop this right off the boom pole or wherever or the microphone arm or whatever I'm using or wherever and just immediately take it out and carry my camera talking or wherever just plop it on top of my camera like I said with this this thing or wherever and just go and it just makes it so much easier like I said with that versatility and on top of that like I said you're using the same microphone so you can be able to EQ it roughly the same I highly highly recommend this as a uh, beginner content creator microphone I would suggest this is going to be something that um a lot of entry level content creators who are just starting out who are looking for a microphone after buying a camera or getting a decent phone that has decent cameras and they're looking for some audio gear or wherever this is going to be the microphone i recommend now if they're mostly stationary in their studio or something like that they're not going to be outside too much vlogging or anything like that that's when at this price point you could say you know get something like the cinco uh, Mike D1 or something from Road or you know whatever other companies are out there around this price point but like I said if you're going to be doing a lot of unique stuff with your content creation and you are going to be somewhat traveling or maybe thinking about going to vlogs and stuff like that yes there are lavalier systems and everything out there but you're going to deal with mic rustling from your clothes or having that square like I said transmitter or wherever and it just looks unprofessional where Again, you can have a cheap mic boom pole just out of shot and you can, you know, record. And again, you can slap it on top of your camera, hook it up to your phone 
hook it up to your PC. I've seen a video where somebody did that, but literally had it simultaneously uh, hooked up to three different devices and was able to record. So again, a lot of versatility here, um, a lot of value here for the price point, but it's all depending on what kind of content creator you're going to be. And like I said, Comica, if you are watching this, I do think that you did overprice this just, just a hair, just a tad. Um, even though I purchased this with my own money, they didn't send it out to me or wherever, I still want to give it a fair chance and a fair shake. So again, that's just my thoughts and opinions on it. Just like a quick overview uh, of the microphone. It, just in case if you're wondering or whatever about it, I'll link some video testing that people did or wherever down in the description because I know people care about like distance testing and all that stuff or wherever, which is just not realistic. Uh, but for whatever reason, when you get products, you have to do all these unrealistic tests and nobody really talks about how you would use the product or what did you use the product for? They just get a whole, like a whole bunch of like specs or wherever and read off a spec sheet that you could go do yourself by just looking at the product on the product page or the website of the company or something like that. And with so many people being a copycats, as far as doing that same thing, I wanted to be a little bit different with this video and talk about the possible versatility of this thing and the usefulness of this actual microphone or wherever, and maybe lean you a little bit away from, you know, getting those XLR inputs and stuff for cameras and everything. Cause I can't tell you how annoying it is having cables running everywhere, especially when you test a lot of products and having something as easy as this, like I said, just popping out the boom pole, talking to chat or wherever. And then when I'm done, you know, I can put it back on the boom pole and then sit down at my desk, live stream, play video games, whatever, you know, it's just the versatility of it is, is crazy. Um, and hopefully, you know, this kind of inspires you to, if you do actually get this microphone to think of some unique ways to use it to your advantage when you're doing your content creation. With that being said, my name has been Squidhead Joe. If you're interested in this product, again, be linked in the description with some alternatives like the Cinco might be one um, if you are kind of staying away from this. Um, if you're interested in the socials, that they are right there, follow, you know what I'm saying, links in the description. Come by the live stream, chit chat with me and everything. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We just hit over a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I greatly great appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you guys continue to have a squid-tastic day. And yeah, God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.